Welcome to the Tech Support Guy Show. I'm Mike Cermak, known on the site as Tech Guy, and with me as usual is Dan McCarthy. Howdy there. And today we're doing something a little bit different. Instead of our usual tech news and other things we talk about on the podcast, we're going to talk about a very specific problem that people are having and landing at our site to try and solve. That problem is the print spooler service is not running. This is uh, one of the most searched threads within our forums. The, the thread was started back in May 22nd of 2007, and just in the past month, we've received 6,286 uh, views on this thread. So the specific problem is that uh, it comes up with a message saying the operation could not be completed, the print spooler service is not running. And oftentimes if you go into your printer's area or your device and printers, depending on which version of Windows you have, you'll get a blank screen or sometimes an error message. Uh, so I've set up this problem on my computer just to demonstrate it a little bit. So if I go to the Start button and go to Device and Printers, again, this is Windows 7, so if you have Windows XP, it'll look a little different, but this will still work. Uh, I get some of my devices, but I don't get printers. And if I try to add printer, I get this error message. And this probably looks familiar to you if you're watching this video. Windows can't add, open add printer. Local print service, uh, excuse me, local print spooler service is not running. Restart the print spooler service. And if you're not familiar enough with the print spooler service to know how to even try and start doing that, it's relatively easy. If you go to start, you can start typing it in here if you use Windows 7. If you're using Windows XP, you can go to start and then hit run. And then you're just going to type in services.msc. So that brings up services, and these are all the background services that are running on your computer in any version of Windows. And uh, it includes all sorts of important things, but the one we're interested in right now is print spooler. So if I scroll down here a bit and find print spooler, you see it doesn't say anything in this column where some of the others say started. It should. That should always be running and should say started. So you can right-click on print spooler and hit start, and that'll try to start it. And if you're really lucky, that'll fix it. In my case, just for demonstration here, that doesn't fix it. It gives you a message saying print spooler service couldn't be started, dependency uh, does not exist or has been marked for deletion. So you can actually look in this and see what services are uh, dependency of print spooler. If you double click on it, go to dependencies, it'll show you that. If you're feeling really geeky, you can check each of these dependencies and make sure they're running. For example, DCOM, RPC. So if I go back to this list, I can then scroll up here to DCOM and see it is running and I can look for RPC and make sure that it is running generally you're gonna find that those are okay but if you really get stuck you can try that uh, what is usually the case we see this problem most often with people who have or have once had a Lexmark printer so if you have a Lexmark printer sitting there with you or you once did that's probably the cause of your problem there's a service called Lex uh, let me bring it up on the screen here it's called Lex BCE server and on some computers, it's just called Lexmark Service or Lexmark Printer Service, but usually it's listed as Lex BCE Server. And that'll be in your list here with services. And check to see if that's running. If it's not, you can try and start it from here the same way. Just right-click and hit Start. And sometimes that'll fix the problem. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can edit the registry and tell it that you no longer need to run that Lexmark Server. And to do that, you're going to go down to Start. Again, if you're running Windows XP, you're going to hit Run. In my case, I'm just going to type right here. I'm going to type in regedit. And you want to be a little careful when you're editing the registry because you can really mess up your computer if you're not careful. But there's a specific place you need to look here to get rid of that Lexmark service. And if you go into here, you'll probably start out looking like this. You want to dig in here and go to HKEY local machine. Then you're going to go down to system. Then you're going to go down to current control set. And then down to services. And then down to spooler. Let me scroll down here a bit. It's deep in there, and don't worry, we're going to have it in the notes here for you as well. There's Spooler. And in Spooler here, over on the side, is Dependent Services. Depend on Service. So if I double-click on that, you can see it's dependent on this RPC service, the HTTP service, and, oh no, the Lex BCE server. So literally all you have to do is highlight that and make sure you're only getting that Lexmark service and hit backspace or delete and that'll get rid of it for you. Now you can hit OK, close out of registry editor, restart your computer, and that'll fix the problem for most people. Usually if you've had a Lexmark printer or you currently do, just doing that and restarting your computer will fix it. Now we've had a couple of people who found another solution which is a little unusual and I think this solution is specific to 32-bit computers but I'm not sure so you can give it a shot if that doesn't do the trick for you. If you click on your start button and right click on computer or my computer and go to properties 
you can go to advanced system settings. If you're using Windows XP this might look a little different but you'll have a tab up here for advanced and then under performance you can hit settings and go to data execution prevention and what this is supposed to do is prevent bad programs from running on your computer and what you can do is make an exception here. You can say turn on this data uh, execution protection uh, prevention on all programs except for those that I select here. So it's going to have an exception for the particular programs you put in this list that it's not going to check it for data execution prevention. And we found sometimes people have a problem running the spool service because of this. So if you turn this on, go to add, and it's already going to be in your system 32 folder, you can scroll down to the spooler service, and that's going to be down here called spool SV. So I'm just going to choose spool SV, hit open, and that's going to add it to the list. In my case, it won't add it. I'm running 64-bit Windows, and that's a 64-bit version of the spooler, so it won't help in my case. But you can give that a shot if the uh, Lexmark service doesn't help you. So try that. Uh, see what that does. Other people have suggested just reinstalling the printer, but depending on the exact version of this error you're getting, you may not have that opportunity. Even if you disconnect your printer, you still may not be able to hit the Add Printer button to reinstall it, because of this error. So you want to—you probably have to solve the problem using one of these other uh, methods first. But if all else fails, you can give that a whirl and try. And uh, those are our most common solutions for this problem. It's a relatively complicated one, but, uh, but we've had a lot of people have some, some good success with these. So we hope it'll help you out. An interesting note about our site, the uh, first two solutions to the problem were posted within an hour of the original posting of, of the problem. So. Go to our website, techsupportguy.com, and post any problems that you have, and let our uh, community of experts help you out. Yeah, that's right. And again, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with our site, techguy.org or techsupportguy.com is free to use. You can go in there, post your problems. Volunteers are going to try and help you out. We won't always get back to you within an hour, but sometimes we do, as in this case, and, uh, and give it a whirl. And if the solutions we gave you here still didn't work, just post there. Let us know what you've tried, and we'll give you some more tips. Uh, you can uh, find the show notes below and also at techguy.tv, and uh, see you next time. Peace and chicken grease. <laughs> I kind of yeah. like that, Dan. <laughs>